Well, it's time to do more work for the race car. Um, I'm in the car, it's bloody windy outside. Um, so I've got to wash it first. Uh, it hasn't had a wash for a little while, so it's about time that I give it some love. But what I've got to do today, or maybe tomorrow, this weekend at some stage, is the motor's coming out. So nothing really wrong with the motor. Uh, I'll let you in a little secret. I did sell the turbo, the manifold, exhaust, intercooler, injectors, that sort of stuff. Uh, it's all sold. But I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. So I'll leave it up to you. Have a guess what I'm going to be doing. So drop it in the comments what you think I'm going to be doing with this car. Um, yeah, motor's coming out, all the turbo stuff sold. So yeah, see if you can guess what uh, what's coming up next for this car. Wild Dog is pretty close. Uh, at this point in time, it's still like six weeks away or five or whatever. So it's probably cutting it fine, taking on something like this, uh, this close to the race. But uh, when an opportunity arises like this, um, yeah, I'm not really going to turn it down because uh, it has been on my mind for a little while. So I've been thinking about doing something like this for a little bit. And um, yeah, the stars aligned and that's the way we're going to go. And I wasn't really thinking about doing it before Wild Dog, but yeah, everything sort of happened um, and it looks like I can get it all done before Wild Dog. So hopefully that's the case and um, it should be bloody awesome. So yeah, drop a comment, see if you can guess what I'm doing. And we are actually back on the stockies. Looks tough. Um, so I did uh, sell my other steelies, the steel rims with the pitties on it. I sold them, which you probably would have seen in the last video. Um, and I've got a new set of wheels and I don't know what tyres I'm going to put on yet, whether the traps go back on or I really just want to put the pitties on, to be honest. So I'll just see what happens there. Um, I don't know whether I'll do that this video or, or that, might, that might wait till the next one, but we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But anyway, it's time to wash it. We'll give it a wash the easy way. And that makes life a little bit easier to wash, to get under it. No one likes working on a muddy car, especially if you've got to be under there doing stuff to pull the motor out. So squeaky clean and then um, get in to pull the motor out. side hose out because it was pretty bloody filthy so um, I'm gonna start on this tomorrow uh, now that it's washed I just want to dry out I don't want to be underneath with water and mud dripping on me um, so I've actually got to finish the shorty off uh, finish off the rebar enough so I can pull it off because uh, I need the shed space for this so that's what we're gonna do for the rest of today I'll tinker with that rebar and get that car ready I think he's gonna come pick it up tomorrow morning so then I can pull the motor out of this. I've just been playing with this rebar. Um, not that I had that much to do anyway, but like I said, I need to get it to a point where I can pull the rebar off and finish it on the bench, which I'm nearly at. So uh, what I had to do is just um, latch these and then put the lockout pins in. So if we flick them, unlocks out, flick that. That one locks out, so it looks good. Um, and then like in the other video right at the end, I showed you doing the, the wing brace on that side, somewhere under there, if you can see that. Um, and I've just got to do uh, this left side. That way, yeah, everything else is done. I can pull the rebar off, and then all I've got to do is, is plate in underneath here, underneath the uh, quarter chop, and then plate in the the back there which is um which i've got the plate here for so so yeah that'd be for you know one side and then i've got the other side and then i've got a i've got a piece here to to cut out in here but um 
yeah, so all that stuff's done. I just got to do this wing brace, and then the rebar's coming off, and he's coming to get it. So um, I'll be looking forward to uh, finishing this job. And just while I'm in here, I'll just show you the new wheels I got. Um, so here they are. I don't know if you can see that. They're Pro Comp Trilogy 75s or whatever they call them. Um, Beadlock. They're 17 by 9, neg 30, so it'll be pretty fat. Um, they don't come in neg 30 or neg 6, and neg 6 is uh, not enough offset. So I've gone with the neg 30. Um, there's five of them, so I've got one for the spare. Uh, I got them from Matt down at Swerve's Tires. Um, I'll write it in there somewhere. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for all sorts of beadlocked alloy wheels, um, yeah, he has that sort of stuff. So thanks to him for sorting them out. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting them on. I still haven't decided what tyres I'm putting on them. So I'll just wait and see, I guess. Um, this lockdown might go further than um, than they're saying. So who knows? I might just put the pitties on and and uh, leave it at that. So anyway, I don't know when I'm going to do that. Just when I've got a spare couple of hours. But uh, that's not that high on the priority list. But they're going to look good. All right, well, I've just finished that off. As you can see under there. Um, so now I can pull it off. Uh, there's probably like maybe another five hours worth of work uh, just to weld out the rear bar. Um, I've got to finish uh, the spare wheel holder. I've got to put a brace there and then a gusset behind there. Um, so yeah, and then cap the ends here, um, trim them shorter. This is for uh, like the jerry cans, um, but he's going to do that. So I just have to cap the end and, and then that's done. But um, yeah, so there's still like a few hours left on the bench um, and plating it all in it, in that. So, um, but yeah, at least the car's out of view and uh, we can have the shed space back. So I'll pull this all off and, and then uh, away she'll go. Right, well it's time to pull the motor out. Just stuck into it. Alright, so we're nearly there. I uh, just got to Probably push it back on the hoist. Make sure to pull this bit off here. Push it back on the hoist. Then I can get the gearbox um, bow hosing bolts. And then, yeah, hopefully lift it out. But it's all pretty easy in this car. Um, I do actually have to cut this cross member out, um, which I'm actually going to change to make it just bolt in. Um, a bit easier for the intercooler to come in and out. And I'm sort of hoping I don't have to pull the bar off. Um, I remember last time I nearly could get the motor out. Um, with this cross member still in, but I had to cut it out. So I'm hoping I can sort of just clear it. Um, it'd be annoying if I had to pull the bar off, but I haven't pulled the motor out of this for years. So I can't really remember, but um, a few people always talk to me about uh, like doing a standalone loom with a Haltech. Um, and that's all that runs the car. So this, this tiny little loom, you don't use many, many of the factory sensors, just aftermarket stuff air temp, um, throttle position, cam angle sensor. There's a boost controller in there and injectors and um, coolant temp sensor. And that's pretty much it um, by looking at that. Um, but yeah, that's all that runs the car. So it does have yeah boost controller, has a wide band and things like that. But yeah, that's why if you have a carby, uh, carby car and you want to do air fire conversion, um, Haltech ECU and Haltech supply like a a wire in harness um, it's all labeled um, you just have to put plugs on it and cut it all to length and make your own sort of loom so yeah makes it pretty easy but we'll get it on the hoist and keep uh, keep going with it and the coils as well I uh, can't forget the coils are a part of this loom but um, yeah alice coils so that makes life very easy <laughs>
the motor's out. Um, I definitely think I'll be just pulling this winch out when we put the motor back in because uh, it was bloody tight to get out. Uh, the front, yeah, you shortened five inches, so that's why we have to cut out the radiator support. Um, and that, yeah, it only just fits out. So, uh, yeah, I'll just pull that out when I get time. But yeah, the motor's sitting here. Uh, I do have to strip it down, so manifold off, uh, injectors out, and this top half of the plenum off, and whatever else, I think the rest of it can stay on there. Because um, yeah, like I said, all that stuff sold, and I think he's picking that up uh, pretty soon, the next few days. So uh, I'll strip that down. Um, bloody all sorts going on, there's a mess everywhere. I've also got a couple of other things to do while the motor's out. Um, I'm going to put an unbreakable engine mount on the right hand side. I've already got one on the left. Um, and I've got a different power steering cooler to mount and fit in somehow. Um, yeah, because with the intercooler out and gone, I did have a um, power steering cooler pinned to that. But that's all gone, so um, I won't have a power steering cooler anywhere. So one of them, it's like an aluminium cylinder with fins on it. Um, like a three inch diameter, so I'm gonna have a play around to see where I can fit one and I've got to get one of them um, Yeah, I've driven it without a power steering cooler and It's definitely not that good. I would definitely recommend a power steering cooler um, Especially if you're rallying through the trees and things like that. Um, you do notice your steering can get quite hard. So um, Yeah, that's one thing I've got to sort out I'm thinking of maybe doing a video on everything about how to turbo these motors so um yeah on facebook there's a page for it and there's constantly the same questions getting asked over and over again so i think i'll do a full video and give as much information as i possibly can might be even the next video so i thought that was a good idea so i'll probably do that um yeah next week so stay tuned for that if you're interested in any of that but there's probably not many of you that are really interested in that specific video but um, yeah, that'll be the next one. So I'll wrap this one up here. Just a short one. Um, lots got done, but not much got filmed. So it is what it is. Uh, not really that much to film and pulling the bloody motor out. But like I said at the start, yeah, drop a comment on what you think is going to happen under the bottom of, bottom of this thing. Um, I'll give you the one hot tip. Uh, this motor is not going back in there. So yeah, comment, see what you reckon. Um, and before Sherry says anything, no, a 12 HT is not going to go in that. So they're only good for the bin. Yeah, usual stuff. If you like the video, do all the normal stuff. Subscribe if you're a new viewer. Um, hopefully, yeah, this will be up and running in the next few weeks. Uh, I don't have much time to get it ready. So um, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the video on this. And I think I might take the wagon out soon as well. It's pretty much done couple small things so stay tuned for that as well and we'll uh, see you on the next one